Hi all, I have another amazing game of Leela Chess to show you today. Stockfish 9 against Leela ID 11250. Time control, 40 moves per 2 minutes, 2 second increment. So standard David Govler uh, setup. I'll put details in the pinned comment as well. The opening book, C4, C6, B3, D5 is the start position. So Stockfish 9 here plays Knight F3. Knight F, uh, sorry, Knight F3, Bishop F5. E3, E6, so a Slav triangle here, solid in the center from Leela. Okay, Bishop E2, H6, so that gives this H7 square uh, for the Bishop to come back. Now we have White Castling, Knight F6, D4, Knight BD7. Bishop b2, so white has that classic grip on e5. It does look like an extremely respectable opening uh, now. Uh, bishop d6, knight bd2. So white has got a very solid position as well as Lila. Both sides have super solid positions. a5, now there is a possibility that a4 might be useful under certain circumstances. Stockfish ignores this uh, threat in inverted commas for a moment. Knight e5. Black castles and now actually does something about it with a4, just making sure a4 is not possible from black. Queen e7, h3, rook fd8, and this actually does set up some tactics here remarkably against the queen, believe it or not. Uh, we have now rook c1, knight e4, so there's some x ray tactical ideas going on here. White plays knight takes d7, which releases some of the uh, central pressure. I'll just show you an example. Knight d f three. Say knight d f three. Uh, then the queen can be a liability. For example, bishop takes e five, clearing out the d file, in order to for d takes c now to be dangerous. With the rook really is eyeing the queen. So, for example, bishop takes knight takes e five, hitting the queen is a disaster. Uh, this is a disaster for for white. This kind of continuation. So white has to be very careful. And if we look at this again after bishop takes here. Um, if knight takes, then again, uh, basically, if knight takes, knight takes, and then d takes c4, hitting the queen, and rook d2. This is just, look at the bishop as well, working. It's just winning a piece there. So there's some disaster scenarios. So knight takes d7, relieves some of the issues, it seems. Rook takes, knight f3. Bishop c7. Now, this rook on d7, you might think, is quite interesting. Was it just about the d file? In fact, after bishop d3, we see a very nifty looking move, f6, which at one level covers the e5 square, but another level is also revealed to this move after queen c2. So, Leela is like the Pixar of chess. There's multiple perspectives of her moves, as we see with form pawns, not just the middle game, but the end game. There's multiple. Uh, ideas and here another idea for the rook is emerging after g5 that maybe the g file can be really dangerous for white here we see rook fd1 and now queen d6 not really with any threat here because the knight's covering h2 but the rook is actually the threat if there is one rook g7 for g4 so white actually closes uh the center releases the tension in the center you can see if Rook b1, rook g7, yes, g4 is on the way. So c5, the queen goes back, knight d2, which looks annoying. There's, there's, this, this looks a little bit vulnerable. Knight takes d2 is played here. Now we have queen takes d2, g4, very aggressive, trying to open that g file. Bishop takes, e takes, queen d3, that pawn's protected, king h1. Uh, here already, you know, white doesn't really want to undouble the pawns clearly in principle uh, because here f5, this is a nice look lock on the e4 square which locks in the bishop as well. So, for example, this position uh, that's getting a very, very nice advantage. So, we have king h1, rook g7, and David refers to this as a tower of power. And I've also recently talked about the notion of alignment which was brought up on Cora. Uh, now alignment, we we usually make that concrete. We talk about doubling rooks and and or trebling sometimes the Alekhine's gun and other configurations or batteries. But really, that the fundamental principle of that is alignment. We see a, a massive alignment being used now 
on this G file or Tower of Power, you might might specifically say. So Rook A G eight, the pieces are starting to align here on that G file. Bishop C one, and now Rook G five. Yeah, with the idea of Rook H five sometimes. H G Rook takes G four. Stockfish is in huge huge trouble here. Yeah, Rook H four checkmate is threatened. G three H five. Rook E F one H four. Yep, huge trouble. And in fact, all the pieces are gunning here, apart from the queen, for G three. There's alignment as well. Pressure on G three, and this is a collapse. King G two. We have now bang. Bishop takes G three from Lila. A crushing blow here. King F three is played. On F takes. It's deep actually. Rook takes G three check. F four would be the continuation. Using the pin pawn against the queen, and white here is in big trouble. Uh, say rook h1, queen g4, and this white's in big trouble here in this line. For example, like this is crashing through the center and getting a winning rook and pawn ending. Uh, but let's have a look at that again. So there's some variations in there. Uh, so on FG check. We we talked about F4 here. Now on Rook takes G3, you might be wondering. Then the longer term issues about this sacrifice with the connected pass pawns would come into play after G2. For example, here two connected pass pawns are extremely dangerous. Queen F5 addressing H5 and H2 is now on the card. So this position is just winning for Black. Yeah, so it's all pretty dangerous. And another alternative in this line, E takes F4, just loses the queen, by the way. So yeah, this is a pretty devastating move. Bishop takes G3. It has long-term implications as well as short-term. So King F3, and now Bishop H2. We have Rook H1. Rook G2. So there's big pressure. F4, King D2. F3, form pawn established, and we know in end games this is really really handy to have a form pawn. Uh, so king c2, h3, and another very advanced pawn there as well. Queen d2, we have rook g7. King goes to the queen side, bishop c7. So ready now for h2. So king a, a3, h2. Stockfish has been squished, and really uh, there's no counterplay here for white. So let's have a look. White does though win that pawn. Big deal. Bishop b8 holding on to the h2 ready now for rook g1. Look at this alignment for rook g1 now. So bishop c3, rook g1. Now e4 is played out of desperation. On king b2, there's the amusing queen g2 here is, is really dangerous. Queen g2 fretting the rook on h1. So rook h takes g1, for example. This is just crashing through. So uh, e4 is played. Yeah, in the light of queen g2, this this seems. What can white do? So takes takes, queen takes e4. This is just a totally winning position after taking as rook g1 coming. So queen c1, king f7. We have queen h6, queen h7, and now rook g2 putting pressure on the second rank. Now uh, that pawn is taken. So the idea was bishop f4. Rook c2, Lila doesn't mind this at all, and now plays another nifty move. So never underestimate the power of the passed pawns in conversion as well. Queen e4 is played, so offering a whole bishop for two connected passed pawns here now. Bishop takes f4 was, was slightly trickier, but it is possible for black to navigate, uh, it seems, away from perpetual checks in this kind of scenario, but it seems basically a lot of hassle uh, and issues to solve when really leader's continuation here is much more artistic after taking give give white the bishop because now we've got these beautiful connected past pawns the power of the network of pawns here so bishop takes h2 and the game ended here both both sides thought it was over plus 6 so f2 for example could be a continuation with now uh, rook g1 and just the exchange up and a totally winning possession. So another fantastic game from David Grosvenor testing the higher IDs on that original network. Note there's also networks 20 and 30 
in the pipeline. So very, very exciting developments. But uh, this this was even stronger than the recent ID of, of recent competitions, 11250, and shows just beautiful chess, in my view, uh, with the black pieces here. Super solid, super dynamic, aggressive. And with a view all the time, it seems, on connected past pawn potential. Okay, I hope you got something from it. Comments, questions, like, shares, appreciated. Thanks very much.